famous zombieologist Dr. Karina Betts comes under fire by the zombie community when she agrees to do a guest spot on the popular Zombie Today show. Not only is Betts the first non-zombie guest, some question the close and sometimes odd connection she has with her little dog. <laughs> Time today for another zombie book review. Today we're reviewing a book by one of our favorite authors. The book is The Island by Heather Graham. Oh, she's going to be on our show next week. She is indeed. Take a moment to read a blurb to you. On a weekend vacation, Beth Anderson is unnerved when a stroll on the beach reveals what appears to be a skull. As a stranger approaches, Beth panics and covers the evidence. But when she later returns to the beach, the skull's gone. Determined to find solid evidence to bring to the police, Beth digs deeper into the mystery of the skull. And everywhere she goes, Keith Henson, the stranger from the beach, appears. Whoa, her stuff has a lot of mystery and suspense in it. <laughs> Yeah, I think Dylan, everybody loves a good thriller. I do. And if you like a good thriller, pick this book up at your local bookstore. Thank you. Even though Dr. Karina Betts is not an undead American, and you know, we're all pretty open-minded here, we do recognize that her knowledge of our forefathers will tell us a lot about ourselves. Welcome to Doctor. Seen a really old zombie book. Thank you. No. Yes, of course I've seen old zombie. Seventy-six trillion years ago, I was noticing that there were approximately ten kids in our neighborhood. All of a sudden, there was only one. You're gonna be hot when I'm an old zombie. Well, most old zombies are minus 32 degrees Celsius, so I don't know if you're going uh, to be Dr. hot. Dr. Betts, I yes. don't think that's what he meant by that question. What did he mean? Am I still going to be extremely good looking when I'm an old zombie? Well, it depends on what you consider all extremely good looking. Uh, there are zombies who have like one eye in the middle of their forehead. And sometimes some people find it attractive, I don't know. Sometimes they have the blue skin, sometimes they have the green skin, sometimes they have like hairs growing out of the ears like this. It, I, personally, that is not my cup what of What do you know about zombie dogs? Just curious. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. You can still love a zombie dog, it's okay. Thank you for being here today and joining us on the Zombie Today Show. Um, I'm your host, Roger McKnight, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>